Well, continuing on, I accidentally uh, closed out the video, so we're going to have to have a part one and part two. <laughs> so let me put the hair in back. Oh, this one is just fun. I like this guy. Okay, let me. When you take it off, it's got little filings of aluminum and things on it. So I kind of like that. There we go. There we go. It's my little <laughs> my little rabbit. And there he is with the ferns. That's a painting that I did called the ferns. So I superimposed him on the ferns. So he's just, I like this piece. It's just the colors are nice and bright, and it's just quirky, and it's fun. Uh, this is one of the first ones that I put together in my experiment to get rid of this stuff on here in my experiment into this field okay. that was called the lone tree and uh, this was a Sumier uh, painting that I had done and this building is found in Chinatown San Francisco okay Actually, this building used to be, now it's a bank, uh, but it used to be the um, telephone. They used to have the old switchboards in there, and uh, that's how everybody got to call China, um, was through that building in the earlier uh, 1800s and stuff. So anyway... That's a very pretty historic building in uh, Chinatown in San Francisco. So all of these pieces are uh, in these sizes. It's uh, around uh, <clears throat> around a hundred, hundred fifty. Which is not bad for, really, that's pretty cheap for this type of art. It's, uh, I don't have the frame on it yet. On the back of it, there will be a frame put that just goes back here. So it appears to be floating on the wall. And uh, you use a little piece of, um, what do you call it? The, you know, the edging that you put around the bottom of your house, the edging, um, uh, the wood. And you put that on and then just this just hooks right into it. It's very secure on your wall. So they're pretty easy to mount. Okay. Oop. Let me get this. Get off the... Uh, This is the Buddha and the Peacock. Self-explanatory. This one is the uh, 
the cherry tree and the red sun. Actually, when I took it, the sky was <laughs> red, red, red like this in the sun. Um, this was taken out coming across the desert in California, that sun. And then, of course, that's one of the painted cherry trees that, that I had done. So there you go, cherry tree in the sun. This is from a painting that I did, the Buddha. You can see the Buddha here, but just what I did was I took him and digitalized him and did him in a lot of color. So um, give a totally different feel, very uh, abstract, kind of an abstract modern Buddha piece. The very first piece that I put together in this style of art. Of the blending of the photography and the painting. <clears throat> Here we have the hair in, in the lily pads. Again, very bright. Um, the heron's just fun. Blue heron. The heron is from the uh, bird sanctuary out here. <clears throat> and the lilies are from a painting that I did recently. So. This is one of the modern art Zenso. Very bright, very bright. This is so fun. If you want something that's more, a little wild Zen going on here. So this is the uh, modern art Zenso. Like I said, I like this medium because I can do them really 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 bright and I really enjoy having a lot of color <clears throat> to put these things back on here so they don't get scratched. That's the one thing with the acrylics, you have to be careful not to scratch them. And uh, when you go to clean them, you just clean them with a clean cloth and make sure it doesn't have anything on it that's going to scratch the surface. Uh, so... Here's another one, so it's called Lilies. Again, very bright, kind of modern, very fun. I really like the way the colors turned out in this. pieces I'm keeping very very limited editions 
Um, I will make uh, no more than 12 of each color in design. And then that's it. It's retired. Here we go. It's the crane in the mountain. Very fun. I had two of these printed, so I've got, this isn't one of 12, and I have two of 12 over here as well, so. This one we don't need to open, it's the same one. This is that same type, the crane in the uh, and the mountain. This is before I digitalized it all and and uh, give it a different look. Um, so this is painted part. Uh, the background is painted. Actually, part of the sunrise was from a sunrise I had done here. Um, so that, and the bird is a real heron that I had done a picture of, so, oh, and this, this <laughs> is, uh, actual plants that were from the Oregon coastline, so, that, that I took some photos of and put them together with this one. This one took me a while to put together because I did so many elements from so many different things. There we go. And let's see the last one. Oh, I really like the depth of this one. This one is the Oriental Village in the Mountains. It's a, um, a sumie that I did. Um, what's from a photograph, this is from the Japanese tea garden here, and these trees are real trees here, and this is a real building. The rest of it is painted. One of my sumie. Sumie ones. So, anyway. Um, there you have it. And that's it on our first run. I have at least, oh, it's got to be maybe 20 more coming. I was busy when I was ill. <laughs> So that's the first run production of the new artwork. And so um, I was happy to share it with you. Sorry the video got cut off in the middle of it, but what are you going to do anyway? <laughs> I'm going to leave this here for now and it's ah, get ready, get up, and go get my coffee this morning so I can get off and uh, get, get started going. And maybe I'll do a little more Peter Max style painting today on one of my big canvases. Hmm. I do have a couple of pretty big canvases, so maybe I'll finally bite the bullet and do a large painting. I've been working up to it. <laughs> So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in, everybody. Namaste. Have a great day. Hope everyone's doing well. And please don't come down with whatever it was that I had. It's uh, miserable. Okay. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later. Bye.